to decide. Okay. Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, welcome to another program of uh, Project Zainab Live. Uh, this is uh, the regular program, weekly program on Tuesdays at 9 p.m. UK time. Um, in Pakistan, it is now 2 a.m. in the morning. And um, in other places, you can schedule your own time internationally. Um, just remember that uh, this week um, is something um, that we need to learn from Lady Fatima Zahra Salamu being the Ayame Fatima of this month. Uh, of this, uh, in a couple of weeks, obviously, we'll be hearing a lot more about um, the devastating events and incident of Lady Fatima Zahra Salamu and her demise. Uh, just want to tell viewers um, that there are huge lessons that can be learned from Lady Fatima Zahra Salamu One of them being that she was the center point of her household. She was a source of comfort, not only for her father, but for her husband and her children. This is something that we should take from um, her life as, a, as something that we should use uh, as an example in our own lives. Project Zainab uh, is working towards uh, restoring some of those relationships and family ties, but also working towards having an improved community. Uh, I want to uh, say thank you very much for all the viewers who have been tuning in. And I know that some people can't make it late night on Tuesdays um, for whatever reasons, but we do have YouTube channel uh, by the name of Project Zainab and you can also um, take out your time and view some of our videos. And historically they'll be there for the last few months um, and days going forward, inshallah, Kareem. Uh, today we have a sister uh, by the name of uh, Duri Shahwar. I know her on a very personal level, alhamdulillah. And, um, and I know this sister has worked immensely hard to become whatever she is, and she will introduce herself to you shortly. Uh, but just to say thank you very much, uh, Sister Duri Shahwar, for being with us uh, on, this, um, on this day today. And this ridiculous time of 2 a.m. for Pakistan, but um, uh, we, you know, we, we're absolutely grateful and we're absolutely honored to have you on Project Zainab. And I hope this by no means, this is your last visit to us. Uh, viewers will be interested in knowing a lot about yourself, but also I felt it's very, very important to um, let our community members know that there are, there are so many people who are working hard to improve the quality of lives of people, not only for their family, but for, that, for the community as the whole. Um, so my first question to you, Sister um, Dori Shawar, is uh, please introduce us um, yourself to us and uh, let us know what's going on in your life and how this transition has come about. Um, no doubt, uh, there'll be so many interesting facts that we all need to learn from you but also to, uh, for our viewers who want to kind of step on a ladder to achieving something or feel empowered and things like that and um, uh, I'll let you have the floor for the time being. Assalamu alaikum everyone, uh, this is Dure uh, Before starting everything, uh, it's all about Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen and uh, uh, being in home economics uh, by uh, profession as well, uh, I have been working with the skills, uh, and I have been interested in many of the skills, and I was learning two, uh, three of my projects. So uh, when I, I have started doing that, I had this thing in my mind that uh, when you are busy in something that is creative, and again, uh, if you are talking about the soft skills, so when you are uh, busy in doing something uh, creative, uh, you keep away from many of the things that uh, Allah, Allah Ta'ala has asked us to keep away from, uh, you know, uh, from those things. So, uh, and being a lady, being a woman, uh, I have this thing in my mind that to generalize the, my energies and when I have seen the, uh, you know, output of that, so that then I have been uh, into this, uh, you know, into this transaction, you can say that, that, uh, I need to uh, generalize the energies of the youth, especially, and the women who are uh, who are sitting. You know, uh, in Pakistan, you have seen that people are sitting and you know just complaining about the things. So this is what I had in mind: right? to give them the uh, thoughts, give them to channelize their energies to you know uh, uh, 
you know to to be in a place that they can be productive and progressive for their family and in this way if when when a lady in the family is uh, productive and uh, progressive in the family then uh, it you know the outcomes are always uh, beyond our Im imagination uh, this is what we have learned from the life of Pro uh, prophet muhammad peace be upon him and from the uh, from the household of uh, prophet muhammad as well as you just said that uh, bibi fatima salamullah alaiha she is the one who is the uh, in the center of the her household and this is what she was uh, she was the one who was uh, you know uh, uh, she was the one who was the center point and she was the inspiration for everyone in her household not only in her household but for us uh, for the women of today as well so uh, this is what we had uh, in our mind and then we have started the project uh, that uh, kept us busy uh, that kept us productive and uh, and people who were inspiring us and who were coming to us and asking us ke how we are doing it so we have started you know uh, uh, educating them also to be on the pace or be on the uh, you know on the uh, on, on the footprints of uh, Bibi Fatima Zahra Salamullah Aleha to be productive and progressive for the for their uh, generation, the next generation, and this is what uh, this is. I think this is what the uh, this is what our life means. It's uh, being a mother. My life mm. means a lot to my uh, my children. And when they when they look at me and they uh, look at me and they then they think that if a, a mother is doing something, uh, she she is busy doing some uh, you know. Uh, extracurricular you can say that or you can say that the productive work so they are the ones who are uh, more uh, inspired by us and this is what our uh, our lives are all about yeah absolutely and um, and we don't always just have girls we have boys in our family we have children who are from both genders and obviously you know something that a mother does uh, impacts both sides and inspires them both and it's very motivational for both of them but i also want to say something where uh, you know you're living in a very patriarchal society where you know it's frowned upon sometimes for a woman to be a little bit progressive or productive and it goes against some of the cultural um garbage that we can say that you know they assume that the woman's um the women of our households should only be tied to a cooker and 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 be that so have you come across a lot of obstacles i mean i know that you must be very supported by your husband as it is uh, your parents also but sometimes outside of your own home you you get met by so much, many rumors and you hear about people talking about you or backbiting that you know uh, you know, so-and-so's daughter is doing this kind of work. Did you actually come across some of that? I have been, it, it, it's never been a, uh, you know, uh, easy journey, you can say that. Uh, the hurdles are there, the struggles are there. Uh, I have seen, I have uh, heard a lot about, about myself. I heard uh, a lot about my, even my family, that uh, uh, I, I really do to repeat that. But it's it. See, uh, the thing is, what I in my mind, I, I, I was very clear about this thing that, I, and this is what my nature actually always been, I, I have always been like that, that I've never heard, uh, I've never, uh, you know, uh, give another thought about the other's thought. Whatever they are thinking, let them think, because they are the ones who have done nothing in their life, right? They they are the ones who don't have any uh, anything else to do except criticizing others. Not only me; it for everyone. If even if if um, uh, if somebody is doing good in their household, their children are uh, they are brought up their children and they brought up the children uh, with them in a nice way. They criticize them also. So whatever they have there in mind, I have never uh, you know I never look into uh, look uh, up to those. But uh, the hurdles were there. Uh, obviously, hurdles were there. In initially, it was. It was even in the household also, my uh, like the, about from the family also. But once the family realized that this thing that uh, that uh, these are the uh, you know the, the talent is there, the uh, and and I am on the right path. So they have started supported me, and obviously uh, my family, my, uh, especially I, I would say that my husband and my father, uh, both of them have supported me a lot, and they were the ones who. Uh, uh, and you know my father how he is uh, and how he you know he is the one who is the inspiration for many of the others so 
uh, he's been one that uh, this is what he has told me that uh, this is the formula actually he has told me that uh, always being on the back foot and whatever the others are saying that then say because and and listen to them also because when you are listening to them you are actually learning that how people are reacting and how you have to react this is the your, this is your learning and that yeah. was the that was the thing that i have you know it was like uh, that i have never forgotten this thing that uh, if somebody is saying that so i have always kept myself again that empathy i have kept myself in their shoes and okay they are going through this and then uh, that uh, uh i started you know mentoring them and i starting uh, in, uh, you know counseling them at that point and i ha- uh, alhamdulillah it has been worked for me but uh, the struggles were there and this uh, this society you know we can i i really don't care about the people who think that i have done nothing the people who who think that i am wasting my time or something so i'm doing my thing allah knows my uh, intentions so what else do i need then? Yeah, alhamdulillah. You've um, how long do you think it's taken you to uh, to come this far on your journey? Uh, it's been uh, 10 10 more than 10 years a decade. Uh, I have started in 2008 actually, uh, but before that I have been uh, I have joined one uh, uh, there was a group of people uh, and we were working for the jobs and we were you know we were just uh, educating people to Uh, get the government job uh, in pakistan and we were trying to you know uh, motivate them to get the government job and all so after that when i have been with them and then I, this 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 thing came into my mind that why do i uh, ask them to get the job why do why don't i ask people to train themselves to learn some skills and start doing their own thing which is more uh, uh, you know which has more barakat in uh, in it so this is what came in my mind in uh, 2009 and 10 i can say that and then then i have uh, you know slowly and gradually and uh, i started that and alhamdulillah uh, now i am uh, i can say that if i announce any of the workshop or something that people uh, listen to me and today uh, uh, if you know that i had the uh, essential workshop and the people were there mashallah from all over the world and it was it was actually my international workshop as well So I'm oh, very happy Allah. until then that I got the uh, chance that I uh, during this time during this pandemic as well we have trained a lot of people and they have started learning uh, they have started earning actually and uh, the times were uh, you know the times were not good in Pakistan as well so those who have learned any of the skills this is what I had told uh, earlier to somebody that. Uh, uh, the one who has the skill has survived more effectively in this pandemic rather than the one who was uh, you know academically obviously we need the people who are yeah, absolutely. Uh, academically but uh, the skilled people are the ones who survived uh, effectively the skilled people have survived more uh, than the people who were uh, doing the jobs and other things so uh, this is what i i personally feel and i feel like that everybody should learn the skills and to work on your skills because the time which is uh, in, in future you are going to uh, uh, you know you need your skills basically uh, yeah i know you're a teacher and obviously you must have had a lot of the children being at home um how did you kind of come across to them so that they will continue to learn throughout this pandemic uh, we were doing online basically during this pandemic we were doing online but before that uh, we were uh i i was conducting uh, the workshop uh, physical workshops were conducting so for that we have uh, using the social media which was not very effective uh, we were sending uh, you know the uh, uh, we were using a different mediums like we were sending uh, we were uh, you know uh, advertising the newspapers and sending the flyers and other things so uh, and again the word of mouth uh, discussing with the people uh, rolling on the broadcasting on the uh whatsapp and other things so we were doing uh, like that but in during this uh, pandemic uh, it has opened the new window for us uh, the online uh, everything is online now so uh, we are doing it to zoom through you know uh, different other medium we are using zoom yeah i seem to see that uh, the pandemic has kind of or lockdown um has actually opened a lot of doors in other ways and it hasn't been just a complete lockdown of the mind or the um the interest um and it hasn't been uh you know you're not physically you may not be physically doing the out uh, outward work 
but you actually there are a lot of work that's happening internally within whether it be um, in a form of teaching or other kind of professional um, demeanor and it's uh, and it's nice to see that even in Pakistan or other places women have really really gone out of their way to actually make sure that the children are actually learning um, even if their schools are not actually open for them to uh, you know to persevere or physically <clears throat> be on board but you're using all the other kind of mediums and resources and extra uh, uh, extracurricular activities have been continuing so that's good to see what that's also happening in Pakistan. How have the wives and mothers actually, other people that you know from other uh, homes, uh, been kind of coping with this kind of pandemic? They are having a tough time. Uh, I know many of the people who are having a uh, toughest time of their life. But again, when they came to me and they asked me that uh, uh, if we can do anything for you, so uh, I have started training them. I have started, uh, you know, uh, uh, giving them the ideas also. Uh, many of the doctors I know, many of the, you know, very well uh, uh, established professionals I know that they came to me and they said that uh, you are doing it and how, how we can do that. So, so this is what I told them, that you have this mobile phone is the is the strongest tool that you have in your hand. You're just wasting yourself, you're wasting your time and just, you know, talking at each other and, uh, you know, uh, doing all of these things are just uh, watching the videos and all. Then I have started telling them the, what to watch, and then I told them then uh, uh, where you can you know utilize your energies. And uh, mm -hmm. yesterday uh, there were a couple of uh, young people were there, and we were discussing that. So I told them that why don't you just uh, download Coursera and start learning something, you know, utilize your time. Na? So uh, the mothers they came to me for obviously uh, we were uh, we used to have that. Uh, weekend uh, discussions and also uh, then mother uh, we were discussing on you know it was again that zoom meetings are going on uh, so uh, when i uh, we were discussing that a uh, couple of days back so this is what i told them that they start and this is what you know when whenever i uh, i i am there and uh, i'm there for the for reciting on the i am on member and reciting any matches or something so this is what i told them also on member i don't know Member is the place to these words or not, but I tell them to work on your skills, work on your skills, and for that, even I give them my uh, examples. I give them many of the examples that people. Uh, I I remember last last year, Ayame uh, Fatme were, Ayame Fatme were there, and the pandemic uh, lockdown was just started. So we had the uh, you know uh, it wasn't that uh, strict lockdown here in Karachi. So during that, when I told them that start reading the books, start discussing the book, and Alhamdulillah, I got the feedback that you told us what to do because we were home, we were doing nothing, and we were just watching television. Uh, we were doing nothing, and they told me that uh, uh, we have read so many books and we have uh, discussed that with the children. This is what I told mother especially that we you read the book, you discuss with the children, you watch the video. The Iranian movies are there. You watch the video and you discuss with your children. At least they know yeah, their history. At least they know their background. Uh, if they are not doing anything creative, at least they have some knowledge. This time is not, they are not wasting their time. And and with that, uh, one of my, one of the mother, she's uh, elderly mother. And she told me, that lady told me that uh, my son was doing uh, Excel. Uh, he was learning Excel. And I have started doing that with her, with oh, him. And, uh, so and it was, alhamdulillah, it was the most satisfying thing. At least at, at least one person has been changed just because I said something, maybe I said randomly. I wasn't thinking that it, it, it's going to be had any impact on uh, on others person. Uh, but it was, the uh, there was the impact. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Uh, and I am... Uh, thankful to Allah, actually, I am thankful to Bibi Fatima Zehra Salamullah Leha that she has given me this strength. Actually, she is the one who is. Uh, uh, I have been reading her a lot. I have been uh, searching her a lot, and this is what the key point I have learned from her life is: uh, mother is the center of the family, and if you are a mother, so you are not the mother of your own family. Own. You are the mother for all the children, those who are outside, all around you. You need to think about them. And this is what I had in my mind. 
and alhamdulillah bibi has uh, i i hope she will accept it what uh, no I'm absolutely i am so impressed to be honest with you and it's not because i know you personally but i've observed obviously for the last couple of decades how you've actually you know um progressed from you know a student that was learning home economics at one point in time and i was watching and i observed some of the things that you were making in as part of your college studies to the time now where you're actually inspiring other people to not just take that um, those kind of skills lightly but actually use them and you know progress with something that you have as a you know it's a major tool and uh, you know your methodology of actually uh, coming out to impress other people is not just an impression it's a, it's a huge change in the market because there are a lot of people who observe some of the work that you're doing and I'm one of them that I kind of every so often I'll go on to equation by Duri Shewar and, and and then I look at some of the graphic things that you're doing with them and the painting and I think I came across one about um, you looking for mural artists this morning or something and and that is to me you know this is art therapy there is a lot of things that are going on across um the globe you know and how people have actually taken on this pandemic you know uh for some it's very worrying and for some they're actually using whatever skills and tools like you rightly said um to actually bring forward something but use it in a most positive way is very very therapeutic not only for the fact that they feel confident that they've got their hands and they can use their hands and they can actually you know that some of us have been drawing i've never uh, you know touched a pencil to pen uh, to paper in literally all my school days i cannot tell you i could have never done observational skill uh, drawing but even i took that out you know even my family has actually started drawing and art you know doing all these artwork and painting and things and and along the a lot of people have actually discovered that they have these skills but they've never actually utilized them because they've been so busy in outside work we've all been traveling by trains and buses and getting to work and as our profession but we've we've never utilized some of the skills that we already have which is you know we can put into a, such a positive light for not ourselves but also bring it out to other people and i think you've done a marvelous job in that respect um because i think um you have a lot of confidence where would you say that you have this confidence from because i see a girl who's grown up in karachi pakistan and now she's mashallah international in so many ways because there's a lot of people including myself who who listen to you but actually get so much motivational you know um strength from all from my father uh, my father and uh, of course my uh, mother also uh, but, but you know that she is not uh, that expressive but she is the one who has started training me uh, when i was like uh, in class uh, grade 6 or 7 maybe and when when she she realized that uh, i have um, uh, i have more interest in handicraft and other things so she is the one who has uh, uh, you know uh, started doing it with me Uh, if you remember um, uh, my grandmother also she actually my grandmother told my mother that uh, she is going to do something uh, you know uh, just channelize her in uh, skills and other things so uh, and then we came to know about uh, home economics and other things but uh, um, my parents absolutely my parents uh, like the ideology that my parents have and the ideology my father especially the thinking you know him Uh, yeah. uh, what kind of person he is? He is amazing. You know, no, definitely like, your parents, your grandparents, have to be commended in um, in yeah. all the aspects because you you know you have become something in your you know in your persona that reaches out from them also, um, and it does show and it does go to show that so many people have to become a part of your life to help you become successful in life. and it could be your grandparents it could be your father or your just mother or your brothers and sisters but that's what i meant when i said that lady fatima zahra salam alayha was the center point of our household means that all other relations and everything that um, that uh, you know all the kind of area that she uh, she came by even in the environment outside of home 
you know, was worthy and, uh, you know, of praise because she had brought up such beautiful kids in such a short amount of time. Um, yeah. You know, had she was, even you know, she wasn't the, past her 20s when she, uh, her demise. Yes, even she was, uh, this is what I had, uh, I always think about. Uh, see, Bibi Fatima Zehrai was there, right? Uh, she has brought up, uh, she, she, she was there for some time for Bibi Zainab, right? And she has not seen her mother for long also. Yeah. But she's the mother of Malikatul Arab, right? She mm-hmm. was, she's the mother of Malikat, uh, she's the uh, uh, daughter of Malikatul Arab and she is mother of Bibi Zainab also. So the way she has, you know, she got it from her mother and she transformed it to her daughter. It's, it's you know, um, we read, we can, we can read it about her or, 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 or only, but you know, the, the feelings you are getting from her, the vibes you are getting from her, the message that her life has given to us, although it wasn't the long period, uh, long, you know, she, she has a very short period of uh, time, but still, she has uh, given us the, she's the role model for each and everything. This is what I uh, said uh, once, that if you have even if you are having any problem in the cooking also, just look back to the life of Bibi Fatima. How she has, she, she, you know, how she has, uh, uh, what was her routine in that. Even if she is doing, uh, she, you know, if she is there for Ibadat. So what, how she is doing that. Like, the, how time is management. People ask me, how do you manage your time? And this is, you know what, this is what I had always in my mind. That I have read so much about Bibi Fatima that I know that how to you know how to manage my time for everything. You know I am doing so many things you at know, the time. No, absolutely, and this is one very, very value, very, very, very valuable lesson that in a very short amount of time, when somebody has a very short amount of time, they can do so much with it. So she wasn't idle with her time. She used it um, explicitly in teaching her children to kind of uh, morphing their character into something really, really special that not only did it more for the particular time she was around them, but she lasted their uh, character until their ends. And, uh, and it's shahadat of um, whether it be um, the imams or the Imam Ali alayhi salam or the shahadat of uh, as at uh, Hassan or Imam Hussein, but you know, there's so much. There was so much in their character that she put in, because there's a phrase that we use that you get out of something that what you put in, and that is exactly what she did. Absolutely, absolutely. This is what she did, and <coughs> this is what she did later after her death as well. This is what we have seen. Uh, Still, uh, we are waiting for uh, Imam Mehdi. And she, if, if we can think about Imam Mehdi, like if I think about Imam Mehdi once, uh, uh, for, for a time I can, I can imagine that uh, Imam Mehdi was there in her life also. She prayed for her, right? Yeah, of course. So he, was actually, he was there and she, she has the impact on, uh, obviously he has impact on all the, uh, on the lives of uh, all of our uh, imams, but uh, Imam Mehdi, even after so many times, if we can see that, say that, that he has the impact on the life of Imam Mehdi, so why he, he is not there to inspire us? Why we can't see, look, why we can't look up to her to get all the, you know, uh, uh, the trainings and the knowledge and everything? Why uh, why, yeah, why we, we look forward to someone else except we be part of And it does depend wholly on how you actually plant those seeds. So she planted it in a way that it's lasted the the lifetime of the Elul Bayt, the Layyub Salam. But at the same time, you know, she also taught a lot of people about how to stand for your own rights. Um, And specifically in that moment, you know, when she, uh, when you hear the sermon of Fadak, that you realize that there is so many rights that women have, but then we don't kind of, we don't ask for those rights or we're too scared to ask for those rights or stand up for those rights. And we need to let people know that if Lady Father Zerah 
or Lady Zainab Samuleha can try to fight for those rights, we or you know whether whatever it may be, small or large, or that there's nothing stopping us either. Absolutely, there is nothing to stop us. There is uh, if we are uh, if we are on their foot, uh, you know, footprints. So why why we can uh, uh, why we can we can't say anything about ourselves to others? Why we can't uh, why others can't realize what we are trying to do and what we are we what our intentions are? Uh, it's absolutely clear, and you need to be very focused on what you are on the track right if your track is more important and uh, you know whatever the thinking you have and uh, you know whatever you have in your mind just stick to you, focus on that track and everything is going to be because you know that i'm on the right path right so if you are on the right path then it's not possible that allah is not going to help you out uh, bb is not going to help you out this is what i strongly believe you know and um and this is what I'm trying to convey to my next generation, actually, the new mothers, uh, mothers of my age as well, but the new mothers who came to us and asked us, uh, uh, or, uh, kya wow. karna hai? So, so at that time, I always, ek to I have one thing in uh, always ask them to recite uh, Tazbiya Fatima Zehra. Bibi ki Tazbi is the miraculous thing uh, in my life, actually. It has a miraculous impact on my life. So I always ask everybody to do that so that every, the, the work, at least if you, you will be focused in your household, uh, you know, you, you will be able to do all of your household works and other things. So that's, that's, uh, these are the things that we need to learn and we need to focus actually. You need to focus on your personality. Whatever the others are doing, you, you don't, just don't care about that. Thing. You know your uh, abilities, you know your skills, you know what, uh, where you are lacking off. So just work on your weaknesses. Uh, this pandemic, this is, this pandemic is the high time. And I feel like that this is the uh, blessing of Allah. Actually. This pandemic, this whole pandemic, it's the blessing for all of us. Those who have taken it as a blessing, it is, it has been the blessing. It's been a year now. We are at home. We have never spent the time with the kids. We have never cooked so well with the kids. We have never enjoying uh, the life with the kids, but uh, with the family actually. And uh, I, I, when it was started, so we started when, when it was started in uh, February uh, here in Karachi, uh, February March. So I, uh, uh, I used to have that art and craft work with my kids, and you know we used to have that. Then I realized that. If I am engaging them in arts and craft and they are taking interest in that, so why don't I just start uh, dividing the time? And then we had the movie time. In that, we watched that, uh, you know, uh, my kids are not that uh, much grown up uh, uh, middle one. So I started, uh, and he asked a lot of questions. So we started watching, you know, Mukhtar, Mukhtar, uh, uh, yeah, and the other, other movies like that. We have started watching that and uh, we started, we were uh, dis uh, reading the books and discussing those books. This is that's how I transform myself. I spend the time. I transform the you know my kids. I uh, you know I have uh, told them that this is the high time. You if you are learning something, so you can learn it right now after this pandemic. Which we were we were thinking that it will be last by uh, uh, September October. So for that eight nine months, I have the root uh, road plan uh, at my home. That we have to stick on this, these things. And Alhamdulillah, it worked for me and whoever has asked me and I suggested, it worked for them also. But uh, this pandemic was blessing, Alhamdulillah. This is what I said. Uh, although we have uh, faced a lot of uh, hardships, we have faced many of uh, the, uh, you know, the loved ones uh, one, uh, have passed away. But still, see, uh, if you have learned something, uh, you need to be thankful to Allah that He has given us He has given us the opportunity to sit together, to eat together, to discuss many things together, yeah. and many of the things that I have never realized that uh, uh, my kids are going to. When I told the people that start talking to your kids, and they told us that uh, many of the things we came to know about our kids also. So the next generation is very important. Youth is very important, and as uh, uh, Hamnai Saab said that. They are working on the mind of your youth. So this is what I grab and I said, 
okay let's start working on the mind mind and yeah absolutely yeah. giving them that positivity um you know being you know that uh, all our little bit written is i mean we've had so many hadith that talk about you know communicating with your family members but i think this pandemic or lockdown has actually opened up a lot of those doors that were shut between you know family members against family members and 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 if not it has also taught us a very positive lesson that you know even at this time some members will try to <laughs> stay clear from you but at the same time it's also been okay you know we need to get together need to help out each other you just don't know what the situation will be um and nobody has uh, a stamp of their you know their age written on it as to how long they will last and who's going to be left in this world and obviously we will have you know um, so many different uh, issues going on uh whether it be our family uh whether it be our family members whether it be uh you know neighbors and actually we can be so kind to our neighbors too because uh we have that opportunity we have the time to do so because before people used to complain but we don't we don't have time to greet our neighbors because we are working 24/7 and I'm out of the house I don't get back to you know um way past maghrib and things like that and then I have to give time to my family now they don't have that excuse either and we've had a couple of eids that have passed so even those yes it may be in a social distancing way but there's ways of contacting video calling people and i think um people like myself um who are not that very versed with social media but actually learn to actually say okay in a time to video call uh maybe my brother my sister my you know neighbors and so on and so forth or just stand at the door and just uh, hey you can you can you, you can do that where you can if they're passing by you know do your salams and greet them and and things like that so you know there uh, there's still that environment that loving environment that you have and and, and you're responsible for creating some of that too how is um how is um how is your family members um uh, have been like since they've seen you kind of make that big transition towards this whole social not only just social media but this whole uh, entrepreneurship they, uh, uh, my kids supported me a lot and they are very proud of me actually uh, rather i that's what i told them that uh, make me proud also so uh, they uh, they have been very supported actually my kids actually have been very supported towards the entrepreneurship if i ask, uh, tell you because uh, obviously we, i have started it after uh, it's it's been 8 uh, or 9 9 ten, 10 years it's been that uh, i have started my equation by durey shewar so it wasn't on the facebook uh, uh, earlier but uh, uh, when i was just doing it uh, i was uh, doing it so uh, my kids were very you know they were not grown up but now they are mashallah grown up so they have uh, they have the clear idea what mom is doing and uh, we, now they are the ones who are giving me the ideas like right now if i'm sitting here it's just because of my children i'm sitting here because uh, you know uh, that uh, there, there is something happening in the family but it's still my the middle one and the uh, elder one is like amma you just go you you, you need to do this we will take care oh, of other yes. things is going to be so they have been very supportive like um, all the male members alhamdulillah i have in my family uh, from my father to my husband to my kids uh, alhamdulillah they have been somewhat supported and uh, actually they are enjoying the transaction because they uh, they have seen me uh, they have this is what he told me uh, my elder one said that amma you are now getting very calm you know that so i said how how do you uh, you know how do you uh, why are you saying that so he said that mm. uh, you have been so hyper you used to be so hyper and now i can see you are getting so much calm that many of the things are not uh, you know you are not taking uh, thinking about those things and now you are uh, very uh, you know put together now so, yeah you uh, feel a bit more relaxed now than you're not tense yeah. but i think i'm i i am grown up actually <laughs> I, i you know by the age this is what i am uh, this is what i i i, I will say you just become a little bit more wiser now absolutely uh, yeah, 
So yeah, I think uh, that's also a very good, um, you know, a feeling. You've got a support mechanism in place, um, and, and and you're doing all the right things by the, you know, you're not you've got your own book literally. Um, you've got your own book. You're actually list, literally, you know, um, and I use that metaphorically, metaphor to say that you have your own book. You've got your own manual as to how to do things, how you've been managing them. And I think you, I think, um, I think maybe in a few years time, you will actually sit down and say, you know, I need to write a book about this and leave something behind for somebody else. Uh, I can see that coming and I wouldn't, um, uh, and I can see that you know, there's something special about, you know, how you've made so many changes uh, for the positive uh, living in, um, in Karachi, Pakistan, and I don't know too many people um, in Karachi, Pakistan, other than the relatives, but I do know for a fact that not everybody is so outgoing, so kind of promising or progressive, productive, uh, mashallah say, as you are. Um, but I'm sure I'm, there must be many of them who have actually got the resources. Uh, th things have changed a lot uh, since your last visited Pakistan. Things have changed a lot. Uh, that was many years ago. Men are, uh, the thinking of men, uh, uh, I can say that, uh, see, um, this is what I realized that uh, my generation has not changed that much, right? Uh, generation next to us, uh, they have been changed a lot. They have, they are out of that uh, indo Park thinking. They are yeah. out of that, that, uh, that thing, first of all. Uh, another thing is that uh, when, uh, uh, the, the girls are, mashallah, they are so much, uh, uh, you know, there are so many uh, professionals and the girls are there. So uh, I I feel like that this has given the impact on when boys are studying with the girls and they know that uh, now they have this thing in mind that uh, my life partner is not for, uh, you know, I, I, I am not bringing Masi, uh, you know, uh, at home. I am bringing a life partner and this is what one or two boys have told me. Uh, in fact, we were uh, discussing that. I, I was just, uh, you know, I am very much uh, uh, early marriage wala person, you know. So, I, I whenever I, I, I got to know anyone, so I said, jaldi se shadi kar lo. Bas shadi kar lo. This is what I yeah, always yeah. say to people. So, to the children actually. So, then uh, it was like, uh, uh, I was discussing that. This is what said the auntie. We are not bringing uh, Masi as we had seen these these things in our families yeah. and we want the you know a strong life partner a strongly uh, strong uh, mentally strong life partner and all so things are changing actually alhamdulillah things are changing and this is what is uh, it was needed actually it was yeah. the need of time we need to get out of that indo park thinking and you know uh, all of those things which uh, which has impacted badly Firstly, I can say that on our uh, generations, actually, two or three generations, I can say that maybe four generations have been passed just because of that indo pak impact. Yeah, absolutely. You know? That was something I used to always observe. And I used to feel that, you know, the, that at the, at, this was a good decade ago when I observed that I was feeling that there was not much, um, you know, conversations uh, that came by through religious means and we weren't top talking on religious topics um, and it was you know it was a kind of a joyful time and everybody was enjoying it but nobody was taking their religion very very seriously I felt kind of um, kind of a little bit put off because I felt that um, you know here we are in the west and a lot of us uh, in our community are striving uh, for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so you know why is it that Okay, we can call it the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, but yet, you know, there is so many other values that are not being uh, taken seriously. And that was kind of my thoughts. Um, it's taken me a long time, even living in the West, to kind of change uh, my own attitude towards life. But um, I didn't expect that there was going to be some kind of uh, a long road towards that journey, towards our spirituality. Um, in Pakistan, um, how would you say that a lot of the uh, the females and the males now um, are they compounded uh, with thoughts of their own spirituality, or are they still kind of 
very outgoing and very into movies and dramas and things like that. They are people are changing a lot. Uh, we, that that's what I told you. People are changing and they have started uh, working on. Uh, we have uh, some famous madrasas also here, which have uh, you know people are taking admissions there and they are getting knowledge, uh, the basic knowledge from there. Still, we have that you know again we have two. Uh, uh, school of thoughts over here. One who are into spirituality and religion a lot. They are trying to learn as much as they can. And the other one is again uh, the ones who are you know they are the wrong cases. So we can't uh, say uh, it's, it's mix. Uh, mixed society is again there, but uh, people are more into spirituality. This is what I am thinking. And people came to us and asked us about the books and about the. You know where where to get the uh, you know which mothers is good where we have to uh, like in during this pandemic there, there are so many online mothers are there so people are taking admissions in there also uh, just good. because to get the uh, knowledge of religion basically and again uh, this is what I had also uh, noticed that uh, member has play, plays uh, you know it, it has played a very powerful role again. Uh, the people who are uh, there, ulma who are there, now they are starting, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, telling people, those who are listening to them, uh, you know, the people are there. So they are also telling them to be uh, to on which side they have to be. Again, they have the impact on our lives. No? They have the impact. They are actually the game changers. If they are saying that uh, if the whole decade, decade that has been uh, uh, the whole, uh, you know, the whole generation who has listened to Talib Johari, so they have very clear mind. They have the clear mind. But again, the other, again, the other side of the story is also there. So uh, it's, it, I think, it's the blessing of Allah if you are, this, you are going to the right alim deen to listen, you know. And yeah, this I is think what, that's uh, very, very important. Um, this is very important. And I was so even of this thing now. Yeah, I, even I, in the UK, I, I we did the same thing with our children and things is to mm. uh, use the scholars that we knew would benefit our youngsters because our youth needed to be spoken to by uh, people who could associate themselves with young people living in the West. That was very, very important. Very in important, the past, we had, um, we had scholars such as uh, Irfan Heather Abadi and we had other scholars. But the one thing that was coming from that was that they couldn't understand the young people in the West. You see, people like myself, okay, I can understand Majalis, I could understand the Masaib and the Fazail, but uh, my children couldn't understand that, you see. So what you have to do when it comes to certain aspects is to kind of locate where these scholars are who can actually talk to your children, who can actually benefit them in their thought processes. Because actually, we can, absolutely. you know, there's this... Um, See, even I was so scared uh, of the time uh, when uh, I, I used to say that when I think he was, my, my son was like one or two months old, maybe. So I, I used to talk to my husband and I, I, I told him that, how do, how, how, how can I tell him that he has to go and listen to that person or that scholar only. He has to be on this this track. The you know, the future is not going to. I, I wasn't sure at that time. Like it's yeah. back in 2002 and 2003. I'm talking about. So I wasn't sure that what time is going to be like. But uh, things are. Uh, if your intentions are clear, uh, I, Allah, Alhamdulillah, Allah it's has your guidance the path and finds and you the, has, the, he absolutely has been so kind. Alhamdulillah. That he has, uh, we are on the right track. We and he kept us parents. As a parent, he has kept us because we were the young. We both were very young when we got yeah. married. You know that. So we were on the right track uh, at that time. Uh, you know, Allah has kept us on the right track just because of the intent. It is. I think it is when you ask and you seek uh, guidance, you are given the guidance uh, from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Um, now that we've spoken a lot about religion and spirituality. What about equation, Bhaduri Shawal? What does that mean for you and what, what is this all about? Equation by Dure Shawal is, is everything. It's, it's, it was my dream. Uh, it was my, 
it was it, it is everything uh, all of my uh, you know the creativity the skills in everything uh, is there uh, in equation by dureshwar equation by dureshwar is actually there mashallah um how does anybody contact you um because obviously this is a uh, youtube um this is being a, uh, this is being recorded for youtube and is live as we speak what would you say to the viewers um who would be very very inspired from yourself living there in karachi pakistan but also living internationally um how to get by and contact you if that needed to be the case do they come through ourselves as project zainab or do they contact um can we put them through to you uh, this is yes uh, i have the page in uh, equation by dureshwar so they can come to me through that yeah we're losing your voice at the moment sorry we can't hear you Sister Durisha, where are you there? Okay. Um, if we get the opportunity, inshallah, and uh, Durisha returns, um, and I know that she has a few difficulties going on right now, and we wish that her grand, um, that her father, who's been taken ill. Um, is seen and inshallah everything um is better may allah give him shifa inshallah um but the other uh, issue that normally happens in pakistan is the the electronics um as we know the lights go out and they have no kind of connection to us but we wish um sister duri shawar all the best um and you know, she's a fantastic role model for people living not only in uh, Karachi Pakistan or other places of Pakistan but she's a global household name now because you know she's worked extremely hard she um the work that i've seen on social media that she puts out is immensely something that is so beautiful uh the way she presents it i've heard some of the interviews that she's also done um on uh, using um uh, another social media platform but alhamdulillah rabbil alamin we have such women in our community who have been so progressive so productive have actually inspired and motivated so many other people not just um uh people of her own caliber but uh, young people who are growing up to see that there are so many uh barriers that have been broken and changes that have been made but that a female being a center uh, center point in her own household makes a huge difference because she recognizes the importance of all her relationships around her and that people can uh, you know the members of a family can actually use that to not for only inspiring them but also changing their outlook towards life as we've seen with the alul bayt alayhi wassalam um so please excuse us for today um inshallah um no doubt we will have sister duri shawar back at some other point inshallah in coming months but thank you so much sister duri shawar for giving us your time i know you're going through a bit of difficulty right now with um, household members who have been taken ill um and may allah give them shifa i also praise that people who have been watching this have learned that um any woman any woman um who has a good outlook and uses uh, the praise of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that works for the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can make huge and and wonderful changes in their lifetime um in their household for for people who are living outside their home and this is one example of a, com- a progressive community uh one that can actually you know benefit others uh for generations to come uh so thank you very much again sister duri shawar and from project zainab next week we have uh, a brother from nigeria uh brother shuhaib ahmed um i've actually known him for a few a uh, few years now since the sheikh zakki campaign he's a member of the imn and inshallah he will talk about some of the campaign that he's working on and people who really really require our help too um inshallah we will be seeing on tuesday 
Tomorrow, Wednesday, Project Zainab Live, we'll have Sheikh Hamza Sodagal, who will talk about uh, our ongoing uh, series on Akhlaq. So we look forward to seeing you back tomorrow, inshallah. Thank you so much for attending Project Zainab Live.